15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. July 10th, 2022. Reflection. Go and do likewise. Our readings this Sunday invite us to ponder more deeply on the meaning of the law. When we talk about the law, we can immediately think of limitations, boundaries, and commandments. These laws or commandments are seen to be hindrances to the exercise of freedom. It is in this light that we often see the Ten Commandments of God, and many of us do not like them or do not want them. But Jesus wants us to see beyond the limitations that we, humans, have set. The commandments of God are there to facilitate our encounter with God and our neighbors. They give us the freedom to choose to love and limit our hate or indifference towards others. Our first reading reminds us, for this command that I enjoin on you today is not too mysterious and remote for you. No, it is something very near to you. Already in your mouths and in your hearts, you have only to carry it out. God has planted the law in our hearts. This law that works when us is God's voice calling us to live well and good. This is what we commonly call conscience. Our consciences guide us towards the fulfillment of love. But we have to remember that we have to be immersed first in the word of God and the faith of the church. We have to put our heart in tune with God's voice. Jesus came to our world that he may lead us to the truth. He wants us to experience the love of God that heals the woods of division and hostility. The experience of the man on the way to Jericho is our story also. We have been robbed and beaten by so many ideologies and sciences that closed our minds and hearts to the reality of sin, death, love, freedom, etc. This is where the world is leading us and we have allowed ourselves to embrace this inhuman acts done to us, because we have been made to believe that we can find joy, peace, and authentic love in these ideologies and sciences. Many have passed by our lives, some just looked and continued on, some were curious about our predicaments, but they just passed by. Jesus came and ministered to us, he taught us his words that eased the pain and gave us his body and blood in the Eucharist and the other sacraments to bind the wounds. Jesus identifies himself as the Good Samaritan who took us to the inn, which is the church, to continue caring for us, and he promised to return later on and pay for whatever may be lacking for the payment he already gave. What a beautiful scene to look at and imagine. God made himself available to us, to save us from our sins. Saint Paul in our second reading reminds us that he is the image of the invisible God. Jesus is the manifestation of God himself in our own nature. His becoming like one of us has only one purpose to lift us up and bring us back to God. Saint Paul says further, for in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell and through him to reconcile all things for him, making peace by the blood of his cross through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. On the other hand, each one of us is called to be like Christ. He, therefore, says, go and do likewise. Be like the good Samaritan in the world today. 